Hey, I'm Sean Lopez, coordinator of the Ideas Lab, Wesleyan University's new digital makerspace. This February, we are opening our doors to all interested members of the Wesleyan community. We have a bank of 3D printers. They are filament printers, and it basically works like a tube of hot toothpaste. So we have our raw filament running through the tubes up to the top, so it starts to build its print from the bottom up and then assembles everything layer by layer uh, as it extrudes. And here's our Protomax water jet cutter made for processing high-density materials like steel, aluminum, brass, and copper. It can cut through nearly any non-porous material up to one inch thick, measuring 12 inches by 12 inches. In the lab, we have classroom space and workspace for 18 to 21 people. We also have two Epilogue Helix laser engravers. They're for cutting low to medium density stock like wood, acrylic, MDF, but they can also be used to engrave the surface of more durable materials like stone, tile, glass, even anodized aluminum. We have a whole bank of basic woodworking tools. A little bit of human involvement is always necessary when you're making something. And our last piece that we're looking at today is your basic three-axis CNC router. If your stock is too thick or too large to process with any of our other machines, your project will likely end up here. In addition to the standard profile cuts, the third axis will allow us to explore both sign making and sculptural techniques. Whether you're new to the world of digital fabrication or you're the kind of person who has a 3D printer in their bedroom, if you're part of the wider Wesleyan community, you're welcome here.